Hey guys, it's Shalisi coming at you with another Must Have Mondays. This one is a little mixture of things that I've been loving in February, because I did miss February, as well as for the ones I've been loving in March, well, you know, and whatnot. I don't want to make this video super long because I don't think it's a lot of things, but I want to share with you the things I've been loving. So starting off with hair care. I've been loving the Silk Elements conditioners, like the little packets. And the one I used recently, which I was really enjoying, I didn't throw out the package, was the Mega Silk Olive Conditioner, which is this bad boy here. So it's for to make your hair soft and smooth like silk. I like using this for a deep conditioning treatment, like once a week, then put it all in my hair, let it sit. And when I'm using that for a deep conditioning treatment, I like to mix in the G Serious Care and protection essential oils for hair. So it's a herbal vitamin from formula rejuvenates dry, brittle hair, especially for chemically treated hair. pH optimized, contains exclusive pro complex. Probably butchered it. What is this bad boy right here? I got both items at Sally's Beauty Supply and I love these mixed together. I like putting it on my hair, letting it sit for 45 minutes to an hour with a stock uh, with a shower cap. Sometimes I wrap it in a towel just to trap the heat, but when I'm done, my hair is so soft, feels so nice, feel like, you know, it has actual moisture in it because my hair is so dry, especially since I bleached it last year. Then the last thing I've been really loving is the IONS Moisture Beauty Balm. So it's a 10-in-1 moisture balm enriched with coconut oil. I got this at Sally's as well. So basically, it adds moisture, softens your hair, it protects, refreshes dry ends, restores shine, house control frizz, right? So it's color safe with all seeing my hair is technically colored and whatnot. But I like when I'm doing like my twist outs or like doing my twists, I put this in there just so my hair stays super hydrated. And even if I only do it once, my hair feels hydrated for the whole entire week. I legit only play with my hair once I wash it. Unless it's like out in a little puff thing that I always have. Then moving into skincare. I've been loving my Clarisonic again. This is the Clarisonic Face and Body, the Plus. They don't make this anymore. It got replaced with like the Aria slash the Smart Profile, I think it's called now. But yeah, this is the Face and Body one. This one's old. I've had it for like three years. This one's like the limited edition one. But I love using this to cleanse my face. I use it morning and night. The only time I ever skip out is if I'm being lazy and I'm like super hella tired and I know I'll be back within a couple hours. I can properly wash my face but I've been loving that this makes you feel like all the makeup is getting out of your pores leaves your skin feeling soft it's not over abrasive where your skin feels like sore or anything and long using it I've been loving the Vichy pro even brightening cleansing foam with ceramide bright plus vitamin C plus LHA this is like a brand new one because I have one in the bath which is like this much left and the lids broken so it kind of breaks so I don't like want to move it but I've been really enjoying this. I find that it's been helping with like my hyperpigmentation that I have from my acne, which is all right, but I've been liking it. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or anything, and I still feel like when I don't moisturize it right away, it's not getting tight, like it's been sucked out of all the moisture. So I've been enjoying this. For a weekly mask, I do this once a week. I've been loving the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, it's like the peel off one. Everyone and their mom is talking about peel off masks left, right, and center. I really enjoy this one. I even use it like for like a spot trim if I don't want to do my whole entire face. So I got a pimple coming here. I'll put a little bit on it and let it sit for half an hour and I'll peel off. It'll help it bring it to the surface quicker, which I really enjoy so I can get rid of it. So I've been loving that. And then I finally started using the Biotherm Face Multi Protection Sunscreen SPF. 50 hydration it's the one I hauled a couple months ago when I was hauling from the bay I believe and I finally started using it and I quite enjoy it I just find that if you use too much it'll give you that white cast kind of effect you know what sunscreen does if you're deeper complexion but if you just just the right amount it works really well and I find it works really well under your foundation I'm wearing it under foundation today and I don't feel like my face is overly oily and I've had my foundation on for, let's see, 10, 
almost six hours, almost five hours, and I feel like I haven't touched up at all. I touched up around my nose just because I was blowing my nose earlier and it was kind of like faded. But yeah, other than that, I find it works really well. I love wearing this even on the days that I'm not wearing any makeup because wearing sunscreen helps with your hyperpigmentation from acne scars, guys, just so you know. Then going off into the makeup makeup items, I've refound my love for the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and Oil Free. I really enjoy this. This is a toss-up between this one and the blemishless one, but I quite enjoy this as well. I feel like it makes my makeup last all day. Doesn't get oily like I do get oily just because I'm oily, but it doesn't like happen within three to five hours. It happens more like when I get that seven eight hour mark, which is usually by the time I'm done my work anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I quite enjoy this. is super lightweight. Not a heavy texture in anything. And I'm back into eyeshadow primer, guys. I really don't mess with eyeshadow too, too much. But I've been really enjoying the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. This is like a sample size I got. And I've been using it every day since I started doing my Valentine's Day tutorials. Which is the beginning of February. But I love this bad boy. It keeps your eyeshadow from like creasing. Keeps them like from like fading. Quite enjoy it. Just need to use the right amount so it doesn't like crease. And it's amazing and then I honestly am not like the biggest fan of eyeshadows you know this and I'm always talking about my Too Faced ones or my Tarte ones but I broke into this finally I think I got this for Christmas maybe no maybe my birthday I got some of the buy this for me for my birthday something like that and it's the Urban Decay Smoky Pack and I used it for a tutorial and since then I've been hooked every time I wear eyeshadow I reach for this palette it's this beautiful palette right here and my favorite colors in it are like the cooler tone ones, like Password, Smolder, and Armor right here. Those are my favorite. I think I use those the most. I think those are the actual ones I've only used. So every time I use it, those are the three colors I use. So I quite enjoy it. I love that it comes with a nice size mirror. I quite enjoy the packaging. It's like that marble-esque, smoke-esque vibe. For eyeliner, I've been really enjoying the Lise Wattier Waterproof Line in Fort Intense. It's like the Dark Hunter Green. It's this one right here. Super creamy, super intense, wears really well. I like it on my lower lash line. And I find when you, once you smudge it out, it doesn't move, it doesn't fade. It just rides with you the whole entire day until you take it off. And then moving into brows. On the days that I don't have a fierce brow like today, like an Instagram brow, I guess you'd want to call it, I have re fallen in love with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. I honestly thought this was empty, so I wasn't using it, but then I realized I had another one because not every day I'm trying to wear full on makeup, but this one brow is like slightly thin, and that's how life goes sometimes. So I've been using this as a super thin pencil tip, gives you that really nice brow. And then the days that I want a more intense brow, I've been using this for like the last month or so since my L'Oreal brow stylist ran out. And it's the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number 5. And that's what I'm wearing on my brows today. And honestly, this is like the trickiest thing I've ever used in my life. I think it's because it's so intense, but this is it. It has that very slanted, thicker tip like the Anastasia Brow Definer. And it's super pigmented. So that's why I'm having such a hard time with it. And if you've watched my recent tutorial, you don't see me doing my brows on camera because I honestly take like 10 minutes to do it now compared to like my five. And it's driving me crazy because they look so good once they're done, but it takes so much time to get to it. I just need more practice with it. But I really enjoy how pigmented it is and how it just makes my brows look so fierce and thick and dark without being too heavy, in my opinion. You let me know if you think they're too bold. And with that, because I find it's so dark, I can't really use it at the front end of my brows just because it's not a thin pencil, so it fills it in too thick. I have really fallen in love with my Anastasia Brow Duo in Medium Brow, Medium Brown, which is what I have in the front of my brows today. I've been liking that whole gradient effect with it. Works really well. And the final makeup thing, final thing I've been loving recently is my MAC. Iridescent Powder Loose in Golden Bronze. This was discontinued from MAC, like I want to say like two years ago. And it's honestly full, guys. And I use it quite, not quite often. I've been using it like almost every day that I wear makeup recently. 
but honestly look how much is in there it's like full i always use what's on the cap because super pigmented it's like that nice bronzy look i'm not wearing any highlighter today so can't even tell you what it looks like but look out for my videos because you're gonna see it in there but yeah i've been loving those items let me know down below in a comment what items you've been loving so i can check them out because i low-key broke my no buy already well not already it's been three months and i did pretty good but the new Anastasia palette came in. So once I get that, I'm definitely going to do a review for you guys. To let you know if you should get it or not. But I'm going to be in for that. Hopefully by the end of the week. But yeah. If you were curious, what I'm wearing on my lips today is the MAC. Up the Amp lipstick. And I just have a really basic look on today. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Just follow me on all my social media. It will be all linked down below. And I'll see you again later. Bye y'all.